end of turn four on Breitenfeld, the battle has uh, really heated up across the line. Let's take a look first over at where Furstenberg is playing with the Saxons. And uh, she's hit them kind of hard. Uh, got a few come leaving the map here. And uh, a little bit of an engagement along the line. Uh, of interest, we got Horn coming around on the Saxon flank. He wasn't able to pull the trigger and actually charge. Um, and he's dangerously close to the uh, Imperial Center, but the Imperial Center didn't get to move because the Swedish Center smashed into it and uh, knocked out the guns, <laughs> um, cut a pretty big hole in the middle of the uh, Imperial Center. Uh, at least the side near them. This is still pretty well formed. Um, and happened to take out both the... Uh, well, it happened to take out Tilly and... I don't know who the hell is in charge in there. It's not Colorado. So, we had a, a lot of leaders endangered here. Uh, the Saxon... is gone. Duke Wilhelm, uh, Tilly, and uh, Pappenheim were all uh, put into danger. I don't know what's happened yet to them. We'll see. Uh, and then over here, Pappenheim's wing is pretty bad shape. Uh, Banner needs to reform, however, and we're seeing a couple of Banner's units running away doesn't look too likely anything's going to get to them. And likewise, uh, some of the Swedish infantry is on the run. Um, so, I mean, this was absolutely brutal. I, I chose not to try to fire, even though the Swedes have the firepower advantage. Uh, because since they're assaulting, it seemed like standing around to get shot at for a couple turns wasn't the, uh, the best move. I'm not so sure. It certainly was bloodier this way. I kind of like bloody. Um... And then over here for casualties, well, we see this, the Imperial guns that were taken. And it looks like the Imperials have taken a few more casualties. And they also have, whoa, focus problems. Um, they also have a couple of units that ran off the map. Um, we're going to see what happens. But uh, overall, I'd say the Swedish are doing pretty well at this point. Although... Maybe not as well as they did historically. I, I just don't think that you can count on an attack to the uh, to the level that uh, that historically happened. Just because the Imperials don't actually have to do a thing. I mean, they wouldn't have even moved against the Saxons if the Swedes hadn't moved forward on the line. Uh, that's a matter of the victory conditions for the game. I think. Uh, I think that they're somewhat problematic. Victory conditions are often a problem. Of course, I could try to play it out historically, but maybe they should have given uh, starting charge orders to, uh, to Pappenheim and uh, Furstenberg just to force the Imperial to do something. Anyway, we'll see what happens.